friends today i am going to tell you how we can upgrade symantec endpoint protection manager server to the latest version 14.3 so i can show my symantec endpoint protection servers this is the servers and uh, this is this is running the version 14.21 release update 1 and np1 so I am going to upgrade this version, uh, this semantic endpoint protection manager to the latest version 14.3. So before upgrading to the latest version, we have to make sure we have backup the database and make sure there is no update pending on the operating system as well as no reboot pending. So in order to backup the database, we have to go to the admin console, click server, and I already initiated the backups, which is going in the back backend so to take a new fresh backup click the backup now so this will backup to the uh, backup the database so the this is the default path of the database backup and even you can change this path by going to the settings click ok so it will start the backup and uh, it will take normally 10 to 15 minutes to complete the data base backups depends upon the size of the file so this is the path of database backup and uh, before updating to the latest version 14.3 we have to check what new features included on the versions so this 14.3 comes with integrated with ID malware scan in the face so this is the article from Broadcom, now changed from Symantec to Broadcom. So this have AML, AMSI features, that is anti-malware scan interface. Also, which have uh, like enterprise enhanced support for web app. And uh, uh, secondly, the point is uh, now this is the latest version of uh, semantic endpoint protection managers that will support java 11 instead of java 8 and uh, to access this console open the browser and you can go through this url and uh, so many features are mentioned here you can go through the link so i will i will add this url below the video and uh, another features is client and platform updates is this will support windows latest versions windows 10 version 2.004 and uh, also support the linux flavors like ubuntu 18.04 red hat linux enterprise edition 8 versions and centos 8 and uh, some features is removed from the latest version is the following notification is no longer shows the risk severity or risk type fields and uh, risk outbreaks, single risk events, node risk detections, these features are removed from the latest version 14.3. So let's check the backup status once again. So that is going on, it will take some time. And uh, once this is over, we can start with the installation of 14.3. Okay, let's check the backup status is completed or not. Go to that thing again back to panel servers see here we can see that one time backup finished successfully and if you check the backup file locations you can see the three backups which is schedule and three intervals of time and successfully completed and uh, each backup have nearly 3.67 gb size you can close so now we will going to install the version 14.3 and the current version is 14.21 so close this administrative console uh, so go to the download setups 14.3 so these are the setups one is full installation and uh, this is a CPM so full installations which also have the client package so right click this one Click Run as Administrator. Uh, 
the, so the setup is extracting the exe files So the extraction normally takes less than 5 minutes. Okay, finally, this is the screen for the installation. We can click Install Semantic Endpoint Production Manager. So this is the VSAT production manager. It's computing space requirement. So updating the management server and console. Click next. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click next. So now, so the upgrading status include a database schema upgrade and the database upgrade to the latest schema. Also, it will import the new packages of semantic endpoint protections uh, for the Windows 32 bit, 64 bit Linux packages, Linux RPM packages, and uh, for the pa Mac packages. And then now rebuilding database that happened and is already completed and now syncing SEL. So which will take more time than expected. So the update has been succeeded. So click next. Smandak so recommend that no expiring password is not used for administrators. Password rotation is critical for hand enhancing and defense against security attacks. Click here. Loading the management console, this will take few minutes.
So what is new in these semantic endpoint protections? So support of JRE 11, WSL traffic uh, redirections, production for script, points and go to the version. Yep, it's up updated to the latest version 14.3558, build number 558. So that's it. This is now upgrade to the latest version. And uh, to update the Windows definition, we have to run one command. So uh, during the installation, we have skipped the auto update. So after the installation finish, we have to up, uh, update the Windows definition. Uh, run the command license update all. exe. So this will update the Windows definition. Right now it's 8.16.20, not 2. Start here. So I, I think uh, the update, uh, live update is taking more time. So this is the process and uh, this will take more time than expected. So we have to close the session. And if you check the console management controller and uh, the Windows updation and the latest phone manager is changed to 17 or 2. But uh, from semantic it's still showing us 16 or 2. So it will take some time to update the version. So, uh, yeah, finally it's complete. Just close this one and uh, refresh this one. Refresh the console. Still, these on 17 and uh, 16 on semantic from semantic. So, better I will uh, reboot the server and check the version again and. Uh, and I will create another video to how to push the latest 14.3 update on the client machines and I will create a video and I will upload. So thank you. Thank you for watching and support me. Thank you very much.